Number 33. A coal-fired electrical power station has an efficiency of 38%. The temperature of the steam leaving the boiler is 550 degrees Celsius. What percentage of the maximum efficiency does the station obtain? Assume the temperature of the environment is 20 degrees Celsius. So, um, so basically, this one's a little harder to try and conceptualize. You kind of have to know a little bit about like how, the, um, how a power station might be set up. Right. Instead of going through that, I think it's just easier that I kind of just explain how to think uh, about this problem. This pers this uh, efficiency here is going to be the uh, basically the actual efficiency of the uh, coal plant. Okay, this is the actual value. It tell it says it has an efficiency. Okay. Now it's asking what percentage of the maximum efficiency. So in the other problems I've mentioned that maximum efficiency, you have to interpret that as the Carnot efficiency, okay? And the actual efficiency is simply just the efficiency, okay? Not the Carnot efficiency necessarily, unless the assumption behind the problem is that the efficiency is the maximum efficiency. But here they're telling us two different things, so I have to assume that this is the actual and that this one over here that we're calculating is the uh, maximum, which is the Carnot. So that means I'm going to be using this formula over here, okay? And that means the Carnot efficiency is going to be equal to 1 minus the temperature of the cold reservoir divided by the temperature of the hot reservoir. So basically the, um, the steam leaving the boiler, which is then able to be utilized, right, for work is going to be 550. So that's essentially the temperature going into this engine of sorts, and this is the temperature then that's leaving that engine. So this is the temperature of the hot reservoir, temperature of the cold reservoir. So now we can simply calculate, right, the maximum theoretical efficiency here. So the cold was 20 degrees Celsius. You know we need that in Kelvin, so we add the 273 to that. We then have to take the 550 and add the 273 to that as well. And we can simply now calculate. So this was going to be 1 minus then double parenthesis 20 plus 273 divided by then 550 plus 273, and I get a value of about 0 0.644. So the theoretical efficiency, basically the maximum efficiency here is going to be about 64.4%. Okay, but, but it tells us, so this is, but then it says that the, uh, the actual efficiency is basically 38. So now it wants us to find what percentage of the maximum efficiency does this station obtain? Meaning, in other words, if I had to rephrase the question, right, what percent is 0 0.38 of 0 0.644, right? That's my question. And you might say, well, these decimals look complicated. So what you want to do is give yourself a similar question with easy numbers, right? So if I were to say what percent is 70 of 100, what would you tell me? Well, you tell me it's seventy percent. How did you do it, right? Doesn't that that kind of makes intuitive? You would have said, well, I did it by seventy divided by one hundred, right? And that would equal 0. 0.7. And then, if you wanted to convert that into percent, just multiply it by one hundred. So that would be seventy percent. But notice now, simple problem, easy to understand. Same problem, but with crazy numbers, harder to understand. Isn't that interesting, right? It happens to me. So a very useful technique is to sometimes ask yourself the question. Part of the part of the um, difficulty with becoming a good problem solver is framing or phrasing the right question to yourself. And then when you're struggling maybe with this, you ask yourself an identical question but with numbers that are nice and easy. And all of a sudden, we can do this, but we can't do this. And we realize though that if I can do this question, then this thing is this this question is the same. There's no difference. It's just the numbers look different, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. So then this is going to be the same exact way I would did the one on the bottom, 0.38 divided by then 0 0.64, oops, 0 0.644. And then if you wanted to convert that into percent, you can. I'm just going to do the decimal. So 0 0.38 divided by 0.6. I'm going to actually use the exact value at the top. So I get about point, yeah, we should both arrive basically at the same answer, 0 0.59, 0 0.590. So about 59%. All right. And that would be the percentage of the maximum. It achieves about 60% of the maximum efficiency. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Please remember to help us out and subscribe if we were able to help you in any way. And uh, 
We thank you very much in advance. Take care.